It's Monday and we're back at it again. Today is gonna be a challenging day. Day full of work, then a whole bunch of after uh, work, meet the teacher type school activities, football practice, all that kind of fun stuff. So today is going to be a challenge to get into that gym. But you know what, I'm up for it. I got my goals set. I wanna be stronger. I wanna be healthy. I wanna get my calories burned. I wanna get my heart rate up. I wanna get all that blood pumping. So I know my goal is handle all my business today and get in the gym and do my thing. Say it's gonna be, uh, like I said, a challenging day, so I'm up for it. I'll just explain, like, this is a day where it is activity after activity after activity. Enough to give you that, that opportunity, that excuse to say, you know what, I had a busy day. That 30 minutes is not that important. But it is. It's absolutely important. You need to put that time side and go get it done super important it should be just part of your life it's like brushing your teeth eating lunch eating breakfast it's just part of your life and you just gotta figure out where that time is and you go do it today is chest day I'm gonna do some uh, push-ups dips we're gonna do a little bit of bench press might change it up a little bit, maybe do some incline bench press, cable crossovers, which the cable crossovers is super cool. I bought uh, this little cable pulley system. Actually, I was looking for a, uh, I had one that I previously bought because I kind of got, ran into one of those Facebook ads that says $49.99 uh, cable pulley system. I was like, well, this is cool, it's super cheap. So I bought it and it didn't have a rope. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go buy a rope. You know, a little rope they hold me like this, that kind of stuff. And uh, when I went to go on Amazon to find the rope, I found a entire cable pulley rope package. I think it was $9.99 or $12.99. So I ended up buying two. And it's like probably one of the coolest things. All you do is you, uh, the weight you use is connected to a dumbbell and you got like a cable machine. It's awesome. I can do uh, push downs, lat pull downs, uh, rows, um, cable crossovers. Super awesome. Highly recommend going on Amazon and finding something like that. You know, and I have a, uh, a Rogue Fitness uh, rack system, so that's my place to uh, attach it to. But if you just have uh, like a pull up bar that's hanging from your doorway, you can do the same thing. I said, Super good deal. I never thought that I'd have a cable machine at my a cable machine at my house, but I do. Next to Amazon in their $9.99 special. Super awesome. But, but besides that, get out there, find that extra little time, 30 minutes. You know, I was having a, a discussion the other day about uh, you know losing weight and you know, putting on muscle and different things like that. And there's always a fad diet out there, you know, where, you know, you cut out carbs, you cut out, uh, you just eat, just, just eat meat or just eat vegetables. Uh, in my opinion, it's all about calorie deficit. And I was trying to explain something that, uh, if you think about it, if you're my age, which is 40 years old, you know, that was 18, 22 years ago. And just say I gained three pounds, three pounds a year over that 22 years. I don't know if I got any mathematicians out there, but you know, last time I checked, 22 times three is 66 pounds. So I graduated high school at 150, 160 pounds. So if I gain three pounds a year for 22 years, I would weigh today 222 pounds. And if 
I didn't work out and lift and do all that stuff, that 222 pounds would not look very good. But it's all about that calorie deficit. And 3,500 calories is one pound. So if you have an excess of 3,500 calories, you're gonna add one pound. So it's very easy to do that. Say you ate 4,000 calories today, and you worked, and say you even, you know, you did a little bit of exercise, and say you burnt uh, 3,000 calories. And that's including at rest, because your body at rest burns calories, you know, it's a certain metabolism, all that kind of stuff. So that's 1,000 extra calories today that you would have. You only burn 3,000, 3, 4,000. Times that by seven. We're at 7,000 calories. What is that? It's two pounds a week. Right? You know, now granted, people might not be eating uh, 4,000 calories a day. But just say if you had an excess of, let's say, uh, 200 calories a day. In excess. Times that by seven. 1,400 calories. Times that by two. 2,800 calories. Times that by two. 5,600 calories. We just gained a pound and a half over four weeks. All right, 50 weeks, 52 weeks in a year. Was that roughly like uh, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, maybe a little more a week or uh, four week increments? All right, I think it's about 12 and a half. Think about that. A pound and a half, 12 pounds times that by 20. What does that number look like? No bueno, that's what that number looks like. So, calorie deficit's where it's at. You can do a fad diet if you're not working out. You ain't losing weight. And don't get all fearful that, man, you know, I don't wanna go lift weights and lift heavy because uh, I don't wanna get all muscular looking. It's like, hey, you wanna lose weight and have lean tone arms or or not it's up to you don't be afraid to lift weights don't be afraid to do some uh, body workouts you can always check out uh, my website matchingfit.com it's got a bunch of different little uh, things to do so it's my advice for today just remember find that time it's all about calorie deficit go out there and get it done peace